I love donuts and candy. Does anyone else love donuts and candy? Guess what? Cancer does too. Cancer is like the cookie monster. It just can't get enough of sugar. Whereas normal cells are okay with one or two cookies, cancer cells can have more than 100 cookies. Cancer's molecular sweet tooth can be seen in the Warbug effect. Cancer cells metabolize glucose differently than normal cells do. Normal cells prefer to convert the sugar, or glucose, into CO2 and O2, as well as 36 ATP molecules because it generates more energy. But if the oxygen is limited and the normal cells are forced to convert the sugar into lactate and two ATP molecules. Unlike normal cells, cancer cells prefer to eat more sugar and convert it into lactate and produce two ATP molecules, even with oxygen present. This is called the Warbug effect or aerobic glycolysis. Essentially, the Warbug effect is an altered metabolism in cancer cells in which they eat large amounts of glucose or sugar to produce lactate, even in the presence of oxygen. So why do these cancer cells choose an inefficient metabolism? Ah! Cells need to grow and divide so that they can make more cancer cells. This is impossible to do with only energy, just as it's impossible to make pizza with only dough. Cancer cells use the sugar to make other things such as DNA, proteins, and lipids. So the Warbeck effect supports biosynthetic pathways that create cellular building blocks. Into this, the Warbeck effect supports the demand for ATP synthesis. So the cancer cells use the Warbeck effect to make ATP at a faster rate, despite it being in small amounts. It allows the cancer cells to grab more sugar. That's it produced from the Warbug effect allows the cancer cells to be an evil villain. By doing this, they can invade and spread to other parts of the body, therefore harming the body. Let's have a quick recap. There is a way to starve cancer. How you ask is very simple. Cancer cells only have glucose receptors while normal cells have glucose and ketone receptors. So by eating a ketogenic diet that is high fat, moderate protein, and low carbs such as vegetables or eggs, we can starve cancer. Limit sugar, starve cancer, save lives.